Hi, this video is going to describe how to add a gradation specification envelope graphic to your existing grain size report. Um, I'm going to use the GINT standard US lab file set that comes with the program um, to show the process. So the first thing uh, that you want to do is you're going to want to add a gradation specification and that can be set up under simple design, gradation specification tab. You can hit the new button and you're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call mine my spec. And you can set up various properties um, on this specification. You can fill the uh, envelope with a, a symbol um, if you want to make it look a little bit uh, more detailed or give it some more uh, presentation. Uh, I can fill it with a color like light yellow. You don't have to, but you can. Um, you can change the line type of the outside of the envelope to solid and change the color uh, to different, you know, solid, uh, various line types, various colors. Uh, you can plot a data marker along the points uh, if you want to. Um, in this case, a data marker usually doesn't look that great along the edge of the uh, specification, so uh, it's there to use, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, go ahead and hit OK. Um, and then we're going to define the uh, envelope with the sieve sizes and the minimum and maximums. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just paste in one that I've already created just so you can see what it would look like. Uh, these are the sieve sizes and the min-max for each sieve size. Um, and that's all you really need to do here. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and go into uh, your database and add a field to the sieve table to reference the symbol that we just created or the envelope that we just created under symbol design uh, gradation spec. So I'm going to go ahead and add a field by going up to the tables menu add field. I'm going to go ahead and just call it specification. Um, I'm going to use a lookup to reference the graphic that we created, which is the gradation spec graphic. And I'm going to check must use lookup so that uh, you can only put values in that you've created uh, in the lookup list. Go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to drag it over here. And as you can see, if I were to hit the drop down here, uh, my spec is the one that we created, and it's available there. The last step is just to add <coughs> the field that we uh, created here into the report design properties. So I'm going to go into report design and graphs. In my grain size graph, I'm going to hit the properties button. I'm going to go to the data representation tab, and if I scroll down on to the bottom here, you'll see a gradation specification expression box. I'm just going to type in the table and field here. That's in the sieve table. And it's the specification field. And that just tells the report where I'm going to get the information uh, from for the envelope. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Uh, input, we uh, we picked one here for the lab one at 10 feet. So if I go ahead and go to output, and I pick lab one at 10 feet, I go ahead and preview it. And you'll see that here's the envelope with the uh, shading that we did in that kind of that light yellow color and the, the normal grain size curve. And it shows where those uh, points fall within the specification. Um, there are lots of additional things that you can do here. Uh, this first video is just simply how to add the uh, envelope to your existing grain size report. You can create other reports uh, with uh, tables down below here with the actual specifications uh, if you want to. I'll, I'll show that in a second part video. Um, so look for that. Uh, uh, thanks for watching.